I will be showing you how to fund your wallet and how to bridge to the Gnosis chain so that you can donate to your favorite Giveth projects with minimal transaction fees. But first, I'd like to cover the difference between Ethereum mainnet and the Gnosis chain. When people refer to Ethereum, they're typically referring to the Ethereum mainnet. However, the Ethereum ecosystem is much bigger than just the mainnet. In addition to mainnet, there are multiple testnets and sidechains. While testnets provide a safe testing environment for developers to work in, sidechains and rollups help scale the Ethereum ecosystem by providing networks with much cheaper transactions. The Gnosis chain, previously known as the XDI chain, is a sidechain of Ethereum. Instead of using Ether to pay for transactions, it uses a stablecoin called XDI. The stablecoin is valued at 1 USD. It's worth mentioning that the Gnosis chain is secured by proof of stake consensus, which is much more energy efficient than proof of work. The Ethereum mainnet is currently secured by proof of work, but is planning to transition to proof of stake in the summer of 2022. Now that we've looked at some of the differences between Ethereum mainnet and the Gnosis chain, Let's look at how to fund our Web3 wallet on the Ethereum mainnet. If you already have an account with a centralized exchange like Coinbase, then the easiest way to fund your wallet will be to transfer funds directly from that account. To do this on Coinbase, go to the upper right corner and click the Send and Receive button. This will open a pop-up where you can select the type of token, the amount, and the destination. For this demo, I'm using USDC. If you are funding a brand new wallet, you should send Ether since you'll need it to pay to bridge across to the Gnosis chain. If you already have Ether in your wallet, you can send DAI. After deciding on which token and how much you'd like to send, copy and paste the public address for the destination wallet into the two line, then click continue. This will open the final transaction preview Check over the transaction, and if everything looks as it should, click Send Now. Another straightforward option for funding your wallet is to use a fiat on-ramp. MetaMask has two that are built directly into the interface. All you need is a credit or a debit card. Sometimes the fees can be a little bit higher compared to a centralized exchange, but they are perfectly fine to use.